Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today is day number three. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a basic, like kind of this iPhone date picker you see here. Um, it's really easy and I'm going to show you how. And in this one, you have uh, the word here in the middle the October is a bit bigger than what's below but it looks really cool and on this number two here we see that it has kind of this bulge in fact if I turn this off it's straight and then kind of like it's in a circle like in a, a wheel or something so I'm going to show you how you can create both of these uh, variations and in illustrator I've created this uh, background and these two lines here which are grouped together just these two lines and then we have this text here and you can create a new text let's say let's start with uh, uh, January and, and then I can just enter and then February blah, blah, blah. and if I um, type new text like this uh, there is no uh, you can change the space in between by going to this little button here the leading and it's at 300 right now let's put it at as you can see here at 72 and it's if I turn this up to 150 so you, this way you could control uh, what the space in between will be without creating uh, like uh, white lines white en white enters in between uh, and you can also change this up in after Effects as well here you go to the text or is it character Show me, oh here, the leading, there you go. You can change the, make it smaller or bigger, however you like. So it's at 250 right now. So we're going to give this a simple position keyframe, position, and it's below the lines, by the way. Position keyframe, and then let's start here at March, maybe, the March in the middle here. And then a little bit further, we're gonna go to, let's say October, change it up. Give this some easing, I'm using Flow, the plugin for this. So right now it looks like this which is fine, make it a bit longer. Like it's scrolling down, all right, so that uh, already works. Then we're going to duplicate this background. It's this kind of yellowish beige background. Press Command D, place it on top. And we're going to give this masks. So when I have the layer selected, click on your rectangle tool. I'm going to create this mask here. So it covers the, let's say it covers the this top part here like this. I do the same thing over here, like this. Yeah, so now we have, we only see, uh, if I single this one out, and I turn on, you only see these two boxes here. All right, so I'm doing that, I will just show you this in uh, this way. We're going to feather this mask, so I'll just press F on your keyboard to f open the feather. And as you can see here, it, if I feather this, then it gets kind of blurry here. So we're gonna put this at 100, and this one, this one as well. The second mask at the bottom is 100 as well. And right now you can see that it's when it's moving, then it's fading out here at the top and at the bottom it's fading in, which is a really cool effect. Uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the basic gist of that. Uh, so that now we have our uh, date picker here. And if you want us to, to kind of scale up, we're going to uh, lock this layer, these two row, and the lines as well. I want to have this, I want to scale this up like in this example here in between these lines. I want to have a bigger version of it. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the months we have. Press Command D. I'm going to open these both up. I press the P for position. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to delete both of these keyframes and just parent this one to the bottom one. So we only have this one to worry about if we want to change the length or something. We don't have to do it like this. This is just following one, this one along. And then I'm going to create a mat, a track mat. So I'm going to go to my rectangle tool without having anything selected. And then I'm going to click on this line here and then like this, place it in the middle. So now uh, we have this track mat. Let's call this uh track mat and let's call this months months oops bigger and i'm going to place this track mat above this months bigger and then i'm going to go to none alpha mat the track mat layer so with this that means that this months bigger will only be visible within this track mat here so none and alpha mat so if i change the color of this font you can see that it's only the word March here because it's only visible within this little shape. And it, the movement is still connected to, so you can do this to make, make it change color when it's in the middle. 
Um, so let's, let's, leave it, let's leave it at that. Or I can make this one bigger. So I'm just going to change the font size here to 78, like this. And what you can see now, because now it's different than the one below, this one doesn't need to be visible within this shape. So I'm going to duplicate the track mat, press Command D, and place it above the normal month layer here. And I'm going to go here for alpha inverted mat, so it's only visible outside of this uh, rectangular shape. So then we have this, but now the march isn't really in the middle anymore. So we're going to place this one a little bit down, and on this one, let's check. Yeah, this looks good. So now we have this uh, effect that the, the word in the middle is red and it is bigger than the other one. So that looks kind of cool. All right, so now I'm going to duplicate this date picker number three and open this up. And on here, let's just delete all of this stuff just to have the normal um, animation here. And we're going to add, uh, going to layer, we're going to make this bulge effect here. So layer, new adjustment layer. So this is just an adjustment. This is an empty layer. It's called this bulge. Place it above your months. And the months, let's turn off the inverted mat. So no track mat here, not needed. And uh, this one, an adjustment layer is going to affect all the layers that are below it. So it's going to affect the months and the background. But in this case, the background, we don't see anything happen. So that's fine. So the bulge here, I'm going to add an effect. I'm going to go to effect, distort, and then bulge. And then here you can see that it's in this little shape here. It's bulging out. So if I turn it off, you can see that it's happening. So I'm just going to um, widen the, the size of this bulge here. Let's put it at like 600 or something. Yeah, you can see that this, then this thing gets bigger. So 600 looks fine. Uh, and there you already have it, but this is like way too heavy. So you can change the bulge height, like maybe this looks cool. It's a really cr crazy effect. I'm going to turn, turn it down though a little bit. So here you can see that it has this bulge effect when I place it. So it's kind of going in a, a circle, circular kind of a motion. And you can still add the same effect to it, like uh, add that, um, if I copy the bulge effect here, and click and press it over there. You still have the same thing over here, of course. You can combine these effects however you like. But then uh, the problem is that your bulge, like it bulges everything out. So it also bulges this, this track mat. So you would need to kind of change the track mat a little bit. So it's a bit it's a bit difficult to make this look perfect, but I can do that like this. So now and then I need to place it down a little bit and then make it a little smaller. So in this case, you can do it as well, of course, but just keep in mind that the bulge uh, affects everything in below. So also your track mats. So yeah, that's a really nice way to create this kind of a iPhone date picker effect. So that's it for day number three. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.